it's your friendly space explorer, Paxi. Of all the fun outdoor activities to do on this beautiful planet Earth, flying kites is one of my favourites. To fly a kite, you need wind. Wind is just air moving. Let's see how that happens. You can't see it with your eyes, but air is a mix of different gases which are all around you, such as the oxygen we breathe. The weight of these gases pushes down on Earth and creates air pressure. If pressure changes, the air starts to move. I'll show you how. This is the equator, the part of the Earth that receives the most sunlight. The sun warms the air, making the gases spread out and rise into the atmosphere. This creates an area of low pressure on the surface. Here at the poles, it is cold, so the gases stay close together and push down even more on Earth, creating an area of high pressure. Air always moves from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. For example, on the Earth's surface from the cold poles towards the hot equator, that's when we have wind. But on its way, the air gets twisted by the rotation of the Earth. So, wind can come from all directions. Wind is a major part of the weather. It can bring heat or storm clouds. There are different ways to measure the wind. Let's find out more about this. We can measure winds from space using satellites like Eolus, the first one that directly studied the air that moves. It used a laser that sent out and created bright light to do this. We can also measure wind from Earth. You've probably seen a wind vane on homes that shows which direction the wind is blowing. Weather stations have a similar device called an anemometer. That tells you how fast and in what direction wind flows. Weather balloons also measure wind speed and direction when rising through the atmosphere. More than a thousand balloons are sent up every day all over the world to get a big picture of wind. Altogether, this data is used to create the weather forecast you can check to plan the best day to fly a kite. Today we learned... Wind is simply air in motion. Air is a mix of gases and the weight of these gases pushing down on Earth creates air pressure. When it's warm, gases in the air rise and create an area of low pressure. When it's cold, gases in the air sink and create an area of high pressure. Wind forms when air moves from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. Wind can be measured from space using satellites like Eolus. Wind can be measured on Earth using tools like wind vanes and weather balloons. Wind is a major part of the weather and can bring heat or storm clouds. See you soon to show you more incredible things about your planet and the universe. <laughs>